Well, today we're celebrating Nowruz, which uh, acknowledges the arrival of spring and the new year in Kurdish culture. And it's fantastic to have you here in Australia's oldest parliament, the New South Wales Parliament. I want to acknowledge Stephen Barley, the member for Blacktown. Uh, of course, his home is, uh, his electorate is home to a large Kurdish community. They want to appreciate, send my appreciation to him for uh, co-hosting this evening. Uh, Jenny Leon, the member for Newtown's here. Um, I know that uh, Dr. Joe McGurr, the member for Wagga Wagga, is here. Um, Edmund Attila from Mount Druitt. Uh, Paul Lynch here, the member for Liverpool. Um, the Reverend Fred Nile is here. I also know we have another Reverend here, uh, Reverend Bill Cruz, a great friend of the Kurdish community. And uh, attending on her way is Wendy Lindsay, the member for East Hills. I also will be uh, acknowledging several uh, of the leaders of the Kurdish community as we go throughout this evening. Uh, uh, the wonderful thing about Nauru's is that it comes with so many fantastic traditions. This evening we've tried to accommodate as many as possible, uh, dancing, traditional music, but one of the most important elements, which is jumping over a bonfire, we weren't able to quite stretch <laughs> to, but hopefully in the future we'll be able to have a bonfire and be able to jump over that um, in the coming years without COVID. Obviously this is a cultural celebration, but it means so much more to the Kurdish people. It has a deep meaning. It's a powerful symbol of Kurdish identity and it's celebrated and uh, it's uh, a part of not only who Kurdish people are, but a part of their great struggle. Uh, I want to acknowledge this new year to express our solidarity with the Kurdish people and in particular their efforts for a democratic and peaceful future. Distinguished guests and dear friends, on behalf of the Democratic Kurdish Community Centre, I welcome you and wish you Happy Nowruz. Happy Kurdish New Year, Nowruz Beyruz Bey. In Kurdish, New Year's Day is called Nowruz, which means a new day. Nowruz has been celebrated by Kurds for at least two and a half thousand years. On the eve of Nowruz, which is this, this Sunday, we light bonfires. This fire symbolizes the passing of the dark season winter and the arrival of spring, the season of light. But they also have a powerful message from Kurdish legend. According to the Kurdish legend, Kawa, a brave the blacksmith, led a revolt against a cruel tyrant named Zuhak. Zuhak was so cruel, he demanded two human sacrifice every day. But Kawa led an uprising that overthrew the tyrant. To announce the death of the tyrant, bonfires were lit on hillsides throughout Kurdistan and our ancestors came out to celebrate. Sadly, today the Kurdish people who are still denying our own country still face repression from tyrants who not only deny us freedom but even try to extinguish our culture, our culture and identity. They have tried to ban us from speaking our own language. They have even tried to stop us celebrating Nowruz. So when we celebrate Nowruz, we are once again defining the tyrants and standing up for our rights. This is why we are so happy and grateful to have you with, with us today to celebrate Nowruz. Thank you all so much for your friendship and solidarity. A special thank you to Mr. Jenny Packer and Mr. Stephen Bali for hosting this event. Please enjoy the music and refreshment. Nauru Spiruzbe. Thank you.